Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Peter and in today's video we are changing the cam follower on a 2 liter TFSI engine found in the Audi TT Mark II. As I already showed you in the videos before this, we are going to start by removing engine cover and to do this we are going to disassemble this clamp, remove air intake hose, disconnect the mass airflow sensor connector, remove the wires on the side, and deattach these two metal clamps holding in the air intake hose. After that, all we need to do is pull really hard upwards on each of the four corners of the engine cover to remove it from the engine. So now that we have the engine cover off, first thing we'll need to do is disconnect this hose which has a two, two clips up and down. You just need to press them together and the hose really easily comes off. After that there is this black plastic cap, you just need to unscrew it and uh, make sure to put some uh, shop rag or paper, to paper towel underneath because we will have a gas coming out of this. I pressed the valve in the middle with a flat head screwdriver just to release the pressure because this is a high pressure fuel pump. After that we will wipe this off and you can basically cap this back on. After that we will disconnect this connector, this is a grey connector on this side. You have to be careful not to break any clips, put it on the side. There is one more connector on the top of the high pressure fuel pump. Same procedure, just uh, release the clip. And now we have a 13 millimeter wrench, just um, carefully unscrew this brass screw. I had to uh, hit my, my wrench a couple of times to, to get the screw started. And once again, make sure to have a paper towel underneath because there will be some more fuel coming out. I actually panicked in the moment because I thought there was something wrong. There is a, um, yeah, some, some fluid will come out. Don't worry about it. Uh, just make sure to have something to collect it. So this one, this is the screw. I think it's 17, but I used just a regular pliers to kind of uh, unscrew this, this big screw on the bottom. It's a fuel hose. As you can see in this moment, some more gas sprayed out on me. So I panicked once again, took a paper towel and continued unscrewing the screw. After that, there wasn't any more fuel coming out, but it is always a good thing to have a paper towels when you're working on stuff like this, just to keep uh, the rest of the engine clear. I'm holding the hand, so if it sprays once again, I don't, I don't get it in my face. Now that we disconnected this um, pipe, there is one more hose on the left side, right next to it, but you don't have to disconnect it. I, I successfully uh, replaced the cam follower without disconnecting this hose. 
After that, we have to unscrew these three screws. And like I said, it's T30. They are the same length, so you don't have to worry about uh, mixing them. And after that, you will be able to uh, remove the high pressure fuel pump. Just be careful because it's really stuck in there because there is an O-ring which hardens up with time. And you have to wiggle it out a bit. As you can see, I did the same thing. And make sure you don't strain the hose that we didn't disconnect. So just pull the pump as, as much as you need to get it out of the way and put it on the side. Now I wiped everything off and you see this, the black o-ring is uh, on the fuel pump. I will remove it but first clean out uh, the rest of the en engine oil To remove the cam follower, you need to, to put your finger inside and kind of try to pull it out, but be very careful, careful because it's oily and it's really slippery, so you have to have uh, rubber gloves. I wouldn't use screwdriver or anything else just to avoid scratching the surfaces. Now you can see how old cam follower looks like and in my case it wasn't that bad i had 125,000 kilometers and you can see that it is kind of worn out in the middle as well on the inside there is a worn out spot just in the middle as you can see it's mirror finish instead of hard coat And here you can clearly see how new cam follower looks like. So it's completely black, hard coated on the inside as well. Once again, make sure to clean the mating surfaces of the fuel pump so you don't have fuel leaks or pressure loss after you replace the cam follower. Now I'm going to remove the old o-ring which actually is going to break. Also make sure to clean out the groove so the new o-ring sits in properly. When installing the new o-ring, make sure to lubricate it first with engine oil. As well as the cam follower before installing it, all surfaces uh, should be lubricated in order to avoid scratches. Place the new cam follower inside and after that it's basically just replacing the high pressure fuel pump back inside. Make sure it fits first. Uh, there's nothing in the way. All the hoses are where they should be and then press with a firm pressure.
then take three screws and start them with your fingers first like i always do always when starting to screw in first turn the screws um, counterclockwise to find the threads and then as you hear the click then start screwing the screw back in because this way you will avoid cross threading your uh, screw holes which is really important because this part is made out of aluminium so it's really easy to cross thread it like i said all three screws first with fingers just to get everything in place holding the high pressure fuel pump with my other hand in place so it doesn't fall out. And after that you can easily use your wrench to tighten all three screws. Make sure not to over tighten them. Like I said, it is aluminium, so it can easily be uh, cross threaded or you can damage the threads. So make sure to apply firm pressure, but not too hard. Now that we have our fuel pump back into the engine, what we need to do is screw back the lower fuel pipe in. It has a like a ball head, so make sure to, to place the ball head into the screw before attaching the nut. Obviously, it takes some time because it is really tight space here, so start it with your fingers and once you have it on just tighten it with your pliers Great, now that we have the hose installed and screwed back together, we will take back our valve and install it back as well because we already screwed in the screw that's behind it. We are almost done. All that's left is now to connect two connectors back to the fuel pump. As you can see, this uh, gray one coming in first. Top one is the second. Make sure to orient the connectors correctly. And one more thing before is to get this hose back to our PVC valve make sure it clicks so we, we know it's back in place. And that's basically it. All that's left to do is to get our engine cover back in. And as you already saw this in the previous videos, it's just a basic procedure in reverse order of how we started. Get the cover back in, connect two intake hoses, one with a clamp and one and the other one uh, with two silver ones and connect the mass airflow sensor connector back to the cover and that's it you replaced your cam follower i hope you liked this video and it helped you if it did make sure to like and subscribe if you have any questions or any advices you would like to to share with me make sure to do it in the comments down below and until next video take care bye